Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is to sign in to your office.com account. And whether or not you realize it, you already have an office.com account. And what I've done is I have opened up within Google Chrome an incognito window so that uh, none of my passwords that on my computer uh, that have already been saved will, uh, so they will not show up so I can demonstrate this uh, to you step by step. So to sign into your account, you're going to need to click the sign in button because again, you've already got an account and you're going to need to sign in with your and it's your student ID number and then it's at cms.k12.nc.us now again this is very much like your Google account but notice you do not include student dot in front of the CMS part and then you would click next now I'm actually gonna have to go and sign in with my credentials which I don't have a student ID number because obviously I'm not a student so I want to sign in And then it's going to take you to your organization sign-in page and depending upon the browser that you're using it may or may look a little bit different but then it's going to ask you for a password now your password uh, you're going to have to type it in and I can't even type it in here because it displays dots instead of what you actually type for security purposes so you're going to need to type in your password in the form it's your birthday just like your Google account uh, but it's going to be in the format of year, 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 month, month, day, day. So it's four digits for the year you were bo born, two digits for the month you were born, and then two digits for the day you were born. Now, again, my password is different, so I just have to type mine in as normal. And it's going to ask you if you want to stay signed in. I don't think it's a bad idea to stay signed in if you're using your device uh, that's yours only. Now, I'm going to click no, but I think it would be okay for you to click yes. All right, so when you sign in, you're going to see, uh, you're not going to see as much as you see with mine because I'm a teacher. I get more apps associated with my account. Uh, and I've been using this for years, so I've got all kinds of work in here. So uh, the main things I need you to see is over here on the left-hand side, you should see a Word icon for Microsoft Word, and then over here you should see an icon for Microsoft Excel, and then over here you should see a Microsoft PowerPoint icon, and then here you're going to see a OneDrive icon. You're probably not going to see this blue Outlook icon because I don't think students get that, and I think you do have the OneNote icon and you should have the teams icon but for right now the main one that I'm worried about is this OneDrive icon so what I want you to do is to click this OneDrive icon and it's going to show you the contents of your OneDrive account which probably is empty now you may have some things in here but it's probably going to be empty so the first thing we need to do, or I should say the next thing we need to do is we're going to need to create a folder that you're going to share with me so that all of your work will go inside this folder and hopefully this is the only time uh, we'll need to do this throughout this course. So what I'll need you to do is to come over here and notice how over here when I sign in there's my name. You should see your name obviously. But I want you to come over here and click new and then folder and what I want you to do is to create a folder that's got your first name and last name and if you want to put last name then first name that's fine but I want it to also include the word work so when you do that I want you to click create and it's going to create a folder now yours is going to be easy to find because you shouldn't have all the stuff in your OneDrive folder that I've got but I've got to scroll down and find mine and here's that folder that I just created. So the next thing that you need to do is to move your mouse over here and click on top of this share button. You have to share that folder with me so that I'll always have access to it. Now again, your OneDrive is much like your Google Drive. Uh, and you're going to be learning how to use Microsoft Word, which is like Google Docs, and Microsoft PowerPoint, which is like Google Slides. 
and Microsoft Excel, which is like Google Sheets, but the Microsoft products are much more powerful, can do much more than what the Google uh, apps can do. That's why we're learning the, to use all the, the Microsoft products. But anyway, if you'll click on this button right here, and then you're going to want to share it with me, and make sure that this says people with Charlotte Mecklenburg can edit because I may need to do some editing to your files to provide feedback. So what you would need to do is to type my name in here, Keith Bennett, and you have to make sure that you spell it correctly. And when you do, you should see me pop up. I'm the only Keith Bennett in the district, so then you could click on my name. And then when you do that, click the send button. And what's going to happen is that is going to send a notification to my email that you have shared a folder with me. And that should be the only time this semester that you should have to create a folder and share it with me. As long as everything that you send to me throughout this course is inside that folder, I'll have access to it. So now I'm going to scroll down here again and just to show you, see now how this says shared. That has been shared with me and I'll have access to all of your work. So that is how you sign in to your Microsoft account, specifically your OneDrive account, and how to create a folder that you will share with me for this course.